Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with TK. Today, you guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to make some good turkey um, broth. Um, for everyone that subscribed to my channel that has a Ninja Foodie pressure cooker, or for those that have an Instant Pot pressure cooker, um, this is a great way to make some turkey broth or stock for your uh, giblet gravy or for your um, dressing. I'm making mine to make some sausage, turkey and sausage dressing, but I want to show you guys how to make it in your pressure cooker, which is really easy and it cuts your time in half on how you make it and it frees up space on your stove, okay? And you're gonna use the same ingredients that you would use if you're boiling it in a pot. So, let's get into this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe throughout this video. I'm gonna start out by putting two cups of water into my Ninja Food. So that is two cups of water that I'm adding to my Ninja Foodie to make this delicious turkey broth, okay? Now I'm going to go in with some turkey um, drums. Yes, these are smoked. This is exactly what I want to use, okay? So that's three. <clears throat> smoked turkey legs and this is another piece of smoked turkey okay it came in a package together now I'm going to add in some gizzards okay these are gizzards you can use um, you can get a package of giblets <clears throat> but this is a pack package of gizzards um, giblets have the hearts and necks and everything in it, okay? But we are going to get that same great turkey flavor. And these are chicken gizzard, gizzards, okay? Trust me, this is gonna be delicious, okay, everyone? Now I'm going to add in some bell peppers, some celery, and some onions, okay? That we got some celery, some bell pepper, and some onion, okay, to help with the flavor. Here I have some sage. I'm gonna use some sage, y'all. It's best to use fresh herbs if you have them, okay? Your girl doesn't have any fresh herbs today. But I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of sage for this recipe here okay so go in about a tablespoon of your sage next i have some thyme i'm gonna go in about a tablespoon of the thyme as well i know that look like a lot y'all but it ain't and it's not fresh okay so after the thyme i'm gonna go in with a little bit of rosemary okay just a little bit you don't want too much of that okay so about a half a tablespoon of rosemary, a tablespoon of sage, a tablespoon of thyme, and a half a tablespoon of rosemary. And if you can get the fresh herbs, use the fresh herbs, okay? Next, I'm gonna go in with this all-purpose Nature's Morton Seasoning. Um, the Nature's Morton Seasoning has all garlic in it, as you can see from the picture, okay? Um, it has a lot of herbs in it even onions, okay? Black pepper is in it as well, so I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon and a half of the Nature's Morton seasoning, okay? I'm going to add in some more black pepper. Yeah. About a half a tablespoon of black pepper. Because remember that Nature's Morton season got some black pepper in it. So just about a half a tablespoon. Next, I'm going to add about a half a tablespoon of some chicken bouillon. Not much because that stuff is salty, okay? So put in about a half a tablespoon of chicken bouillon. 
okay? And the next step is to put on your pressure lid. One more step that I forgot, you guys, is to add in the one stick of butter. I forgot that step. But make sure you add in some butter, okay? Now let's go ahead and let's put this pressure lid on here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready to set this timer on this Ninja Foodie. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my Ninja Foodie on. And if you have an Instant Pot, this recipe works with any kind of pressure cooker, okay? So you can use the Instant Pot, you can use the Ninja Foodie, whatever kind of pressure cooker you have. Or if you don't have a pressure cooker, remember you can always do this on the stove. Instead of being this being in here for like an hour and 30 minutes, you're gonna have to cook this on the stove for like three hours, okay? Three to four hours. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to my pressure setting over here. I'm gonna hit pressure. I am gonna use high setting and my time, I'm gonna put it for an hour in 30 minutes, okay? Because I really want to extract all those flavors and I want my meat to be off the bone, okay? Off the bone. And I am going to hit, uh-oh, I did something wrong now. I'm going to hit pressure. I mean, start. And I'll be back in an hour and 30 minutes to show y'all my turkey stock, okay? And how I got that turkey meat cooked in this pressure cooker. So y'all, I'm down to the last um, few seconds. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stop it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let it go down on its own and do a natural release, okay? Okay, you guys, see, we only use two to three cups of water. And y'all see how much of uh, juice that's in here? I told you that we could create some turkey broth, turkey stock, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and we still have our meat. See, we still have our gizzards. We can chop our gizzards up. We have our um, meat from our turkey. Smoke and we can pull that apart to use in our turkey dressing, turkey and sausage dressing that I'm gonna make. See that? And the only thing I have to do is just separate my meat. See that, how the meat fell off the bone? And this is our broth. So this will be the broth that we will be using and y'all see that it's more than two cups or three cups of water, you know, from what I put in, in here. So this is how you can make some turkey broth or turkey stock. You can even do this with chicken. Faster than you could make on top of the stove by using your Instapot or your Ninja Food pressure cooker or whatever type of electric pressure cooker that you have. Pressure cookers make life much easier. So thanks for tuning in with Cooking with TK. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave lots of comments down below. Stay tuned to my channel, you guys, for another great video. Peace and have a great day.